Hey Cancer, welcome to my channel. This is a love romantic relationship reading for you, Cancer. I hope you're okay. I hope you're well. The reading for today is for the second week of April 2020. I hope you're fine. What can I get for Cancer? What is the message for Cancer? Intuitive message for Cancer for the second week of April. April 6 to 10, please. Okay. First card is you've got the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. You've got here... The King of Swords in reverse. You've got the Nine of Swords. You've got here the Four of Pentacles. You've got here the Three of Swords. You've got here the Knight of Cups. You've got here the Four of Swords and the Strength Guard in upright position. Before I start uh, with you, Cancer, I want to thank you for your amazing support, your likes, and your subscribe, your generous donation via Etsy. Thank you. For guest viewers, if you haven't clicked subscribe, Click that button now, click subscribe, click the bell because it gives you um, a permission to me to tap into your energy. So if in order for us to synchronize, please give me that, um, give me that like button, give me that subscribe button, give me everything, click everything. <laughs> Just don't click the disapprove or the dislike button, okay? <laughs> Anyways, let's start your reading, um, Cancer Friends. Um, you've got here pentacles, cups, sword. This is a Leo. Uh, you don't have a lot of wands. Wands speaks about action and passion. So I feel like it could be you are in a situation where there's less interaction or interconnectivity between you and your person. Okay. Um, you've got ace of pentacles and the king of swords. There's a possible of third party in here. Um... There's a possibility that you are involved in a third party or multiple dating. There's a possibility that you were rejected. You were taken advantage of someone in the past and it has caused you heartbreak. But don't worry, you've got here the Knight of Cups, okay? You've got someone coming soon, okay? What's the Knight of Cups, please? Yeah, the Chariot card. This is your card, Cancer. So you've got someone new coming towards you. So you might feel like it's 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 an overwhelming feeling of I've been hurt, I've been backstabbed, I've been I've dealt with shitty people in the past. When will I have my Knight of Cups? It will be coming, my dear. Okay. April and May, there is still a little bit of work to do. Like um the universe is asking you to clear your thoughts, prepare your energy, and um you have someone in the past that's keep coming in and out in your life so you have to make a decision whether you accept this completely or you start something someone new because there is a uh, there's someone ready to march into your world knight of cups and the chariot card i also pick up that this knight of cups it could be the same person that's giving you heartbreak pain or disappointment they will be coming and also another energy a third energy around so april and may um, the people that you would come across in romantic are still someone you know, ex, or someone you've dated recently on and off. By the month of June, you will have someone completely new. So hopefully by that time, Cancer, especially around during your birthday, um, it's like a birthday gift from the universe, that you probably have um, clear your aura, your energy, and your, your you know, you are... You're ready to start all over with someone new or you have someone in the past who you have kind of willing to accept accept their imperfection, your imperfection and start all over again. Meaning to say, if you are going to accept with someone new in the past, you have to forget everything that happened in the past and start all over new. Okay, there is a call for you here to start back to scratch, whether it's someone new or someone whether it's someone new or someone in the past, you have to live in the present. You should not be accessing the past hurt, past pain, past thoughts, okay? Because that's the only way to progress. Oh, wow, it's kind of heavy energy, but it would somehow, I feel, strike your mind, heart, and soul to release any baggages because there's quite new energy coming around you. And it's your past, your past behavior, past action, past thoughts, past pain, past failure that's preventing you to, you know, run the world and explore love and it's love and beyond. 
you know, the chariot card. I should write that down. Okay? You're very powerful. This card is, this, this reading today is quite liberating. Because Nine of Swords, Four of Pentacles, Four of Swords, the Strength card. So, there's still a challenge uh, pretty much April month. You know, you couldn't sleep. You're still thinking of the same person or vice versa. They're still thinking about you. Um, they're still holding back. Um, let it go if you feel like this person intuitively. You're very, very intuitive. Okay, you're a water sign. So you're very defensive as well. You're a crab. So you protect yourself. You protect your thought. You protect your feelings. You don't just open up with people or someone. So if you feel like this person is holding back, if you feel like this person is not meant to be genuine with you, then take your mind out somewhere. Because Four of Swords, if someone is bugging you or someone is making you think and this person is generating a more of negative energy, don't wait around. Just be, you know, just be, be, because the strength card, I think this is, this is a Leo card, but this is more of um, a time out or be kind to yourself. You remember, this is, I think, you. You're wearing a white and this is your thought. If your thought process is negative, unable to sleep at night, you worry, you become a lion, okay? So I feel like this energy is that you take care of your thoughts, your feelings, you protect yourself from negative people or negative energy, okay? Because there's a cycle for you. There's a cycle for you that's about to begin, love and beyond. So you better prepare with that, okay? If this person is not giving you that response, that that call back, that, you know, that attention you deserve, especially if you have a valid point, valid question to ask this person, then let it be. Rest your thought about this person. They will come back if they're ready to come back. I see them coming back, connecting and reconnecting. In, in the, in, so when, when this happened, you should be prepared. You should have already done your, you know, your assignment or pre-workout in terms of clearing energy, okay? Because you've got options. Look at the chariot card. There's black and white. This is someone in the past and this is someone new, okay? So you've got options in which direction you would take, all right? So do a bit of homework, you know, clear your manifestation. Who do you really want? And take care of yourself. Be patient with yourself. Don't overthink, you know, sleep properly. I'm getting that in here, all right? So this is you. Thank you so much, Cancer, for tuning in. Thanks for being here today. It's a pleasure doing the reading to you guys. Again, if you like the reading, I would really appreciate, guys, if I get a thumbs up. For guest viewers, click the like button, click the subscribe button and the notification bell. That bell, that uh, subscribe button will allow me to tap into you, from me to you kind of energy. So click it now. I'll see you soon. My subscriber, thank you, amazing friends, for the love and support. Um, you take care wherever you are and um, see you on Wednesday and Friday, okay? I'll be uploading new videos on Wednesday and Friday again, okay? Bye, guys.